Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. So today's video would be about uh, Mainframe DB2 Practical. So, so far I have been covering on uh, or explaining about uh, the different modules like COBOL, JCL, DB2, CICS and other few practical tutorials on COBOL and JCL. And I will be coming up with more and more about uh, those theoretical and practical but this video is completely about a DB2 practical. So in this video I would like to show you how do we connect it to a DB2 uh, from a mainframe terminal. As you all know that a mainframe is a separate subsystem and a DB2 is a subsystem. So now we will be seeing how do we connect to a DB2 subsystem from a mainframe terminal and how do we start practicing or running a queries uh, from the mainframe system okay so we have two options like uh, we can either we can connect with the QMF or with the spoofy so today's video is about completely uh, explaining about the QMF that is query management facility it is one of the panel or tool provided by uh, provided on the mainframe system so so that uh, to practice or to test the queries by using this panel so we will be seeing of this and and we also will be seeing like uh, how do we insert a how do we create a table how do we insert a record add to a table and how do we select a record from a table okay so first what we'll do is we will try to connect to the mainframe and we will create uh, we'll see how the QMF looks onto the mainframe terminal okay so this is a uh, uh, here is a I'm into a mainframe ISPF uh, panel so this is the home screen of the mainframe terminal so where you can see a different options like settings view, edit utilities, foreground, batch, command, dialog, settings and everything so here you can see an option called QMF so for it depends on the mainframe installation setup so, so they can have different options and within a different order so QMF can be stored in some the option called products or any other thing so so far in this mainframe system so you can see a 17 QMF as an option so in order to connect to the uh, go to the QMF panel so we need to enter a 17 and just press enter so that you'll be connected to the QMF services yes here you are so now you are into the QMF panel area so where you can see uh, different uh, options like which server you are connected and so you can see a different help area here like uh, one two three and options so what are these I mean these are and in order to go into this you need to press F1 these are all nothing but function keys F1 stands for F1 2 stands for F2, 3, F3 and so on, F6 stands for F6. So, uh, so I mean this help is very much helpful to you. If you want to see, go to this option, just press F1 key on the keyboard so that you can s and you can get another panel screen where way you can see what's new in QMF version, learning about QMF, profile, QMF commands and uh, prompted queries, SQL and so on. So if you want to go down, just press F8 and if you go back backward and forward option so if you go on to exit from this panel just press F3 so that uh, you would be exiting okay so now I'm back so you have various options like list and show chart query and so on so so mostly we need to we will be working with the query option so just I will press option F6 key on the keyboard so that I am entering into this key so so now you are into a SQL query panel area where you can start uh, entering your queries so so as uh, as I mean this is how we connect to a DB2 from a mainframe with the help of QMF so what is the next step we have so we need to create a table uh, in this uh, panel and SQL query panel and what and what's the table I'm trying to create I'm trying to create the table with the name std3 and uh, these are the two fields I want to add like student name and student ID and the student name is of data type character and uh, student ID is data type int so let's see so how do we create it so you need to create a table okay create a table okay uh, what is the table name st uh, std3 and you need to give the field names right the first thing is field names then followed by the data type so std name 
with the field name as character of 20 bytes uh, in the same way uh, ID with this name student ID uh, with the integer uh, and where I want to create it I need to, I need to store it into a database with the table space so if you want to know about what is database table space and everything so you can watch my theoretical video on DB2 in my YouTube channel so and um, you will get some idea about what does database and subsystems and what is oh, what is the table space the records rows and table structure okay so DB table space I mean database and the table space okay that's it so your query will end with always semicolon so that you will create the table so create table table name student name and the student int so how do we run this query so you can see a different options over here like f1 help f2 run 3 and f4 print chart draw backward forward form and insert delete and report so how do we and how do you run this so press f2 on the keyboard so that it will run your query just press f2 okay you can see a successful message like OK running your query change the database that means your query has been successfully executed okay so just make it a comment so in order to give a comment so what you need to do is just give uh, two hyphen so that this query won't run so just write just press F2 see if the query won't run okay just give F3 and so that it will go back okay mm, now what you need to do is after creating a table you need to check whether the query table has been successfully created I mean you need you want to just inquire like what is the you want to inquire the table structure whatever I have given is correct or not I mean if, if it is showing my fields or not and there is no data stored or no records entered into the table so what is the query we need to select so you have an select query that with that help of that one so you can see this okay F2 run so you can see the two fields whatever you have created that are existing in the table okay so this is thrown through the report panel so in the report panel you can see this a uh, table structure I mean not structure uh, you can see a table data uh, field name whatever you have declared so in order to go back to the query area just press F6 F6 so that you will go get back to your query area so now if you are here just as E okay so after creating a table and after identifying the table structure so what is the next step what is the next one you have you have created a table now you need to insert a record into your table so how do we record insert into a table what is table 3 and uh, what are the data types you have a CD name and student ID okay and values uh, Kumar and something number as 10102 okay and you have so you what uh, you need to enter the values to these defined fields right so in order to define these fields so we have another query command like insert into table name you have to tell the field names and you have to enter the values for that particular fields okay now in order to run it so press have to so that your query see std id so i have defined wrong so let's make it adjustment okay so just try again run it so it will ask you your com run command modify this number of rows in the database so you want to modify yes you need to press always yes if you are trying to enter a new record just press enter see you can see like okay number of rows modified in the database is one so it means that you have successfully entered one record into the table so now we I want to check whether whatever the data I have entered I mean what are the records I have entered into this table so it is successfully entered and can I see the data so in order to see or retrieve the data from the table just run select star from test 3d3 query so that you can retrieve the data earlier it was empty right now we will see if we have a data just press f2 here you go 
just you, you can see like uh, the student name and the student ID so you can see the records over here so the record has been successfully retrieved from this so how do we go back to the query panel so press F6 so now you have a successfully entered so we'll try to enter a few more records insert into student 3, student name and something like John and 3 press F2 see enter another record has been entered successfully or oh, now this time I will try to enter only a student name okay I will enter something like J O E S E V H okay press run okay if to enter okay the record has been successfully entered so now how many records we have entered so far we have entered three records let's see how many records we can retrieve just press F to run that's it you can see uh, totally three records has been entered and one with the complete values that is two records have student name and student ID and other record is with a space just a name but there is no student ID allocated for this so so with this uh, in this way we can we have successfully connected to a mainframe deep a DB2 subsystem from a mainframe terminal and we have successfully created a table with these fields and we have inserted records into the fields and finally we have retrieved the records from a table so this is how uh, we will connect to the main um, DB2 subsystem with the help of QMF Spoofy so I hope you got some idea about a QMF what is QMF and uh, how do we retrieve the data instead of record and uh, how do we perform a query operation using QMF so if you like this video kindly subscribe to my youtube channel so and uh, once you if you get subscribed to my youtube channel so what you'll get is what the benefit you'll get is you will get an email alert for whatever the videos I will be posting so that you can watch my videos as soon as it hit to your inbox okay thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video kindly please share subscribe or comment on my youtube channel have a great and a pleasureful day.